What's going on YouTube and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here with CoreFX bringing you guys another weekly technical talk video. Uh, any new returning viewers, this is a video where we are going to dive into the technical charts in the Forex markets. I go over all the US dollar cross major pairs as well as a uh, significant amount of other cross pairs that are on my watch list for the week ahead. Uh, CoreFX, here at CoreFX, we teach and trade a trend trading strategy, so a lot of my watch list is developed based off the trending pairs. Um, so I will go through a full breakdown of all the dollar crosses, no matter whether they're trending or not. Then I will jump into my watch list for the week. You're getting technical breakdown of at least 15, 20 charts, and I go over all the technical analysis methods that I apply to them, how I... Uh, look for my levels, my trends, my Fibonacci, apply them to the charts. You'll get a little bit of everything technical speaking in these videos. Returning viewers, I appreciate you guys staying tuned to these videos, coming back every week to watch them. I hope you're finding some value in them. I love making these videos, but essentially I do them in hopes that there are some value found from you traders out there. Get a little bit of a look at how professionals analyze the markets, what to look for, and uh, you know, just a little bit of a different outlook on how other people trade. So thank you guys for tuning in these videos. New and returning users, all my Forex fiends, I appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and flip into the charts now. I'll catch you guys in the charts and I will see what's going on. So hopping into the charts here, starting off with the Euro dollar as usual. As you guys see, we were in that uptrend. As we talked about, we had this high base and we have broken out. And now you can see we have had actually five weeks one two three four five back to back of bearish price action from this euro dollar this is a weekly chart i just want to show you guys because on the daily chart it didn't show too great of price action this past week but i've taken it to the weekly you can see this bearish murubozu candle closed all the way down here very strong momentum right there's a little bit of a wick so not really but it's still a strong momentum candle we broke through this 50 sma i thought we would have gotten a little more of a bounce a little more of a rally before dropping but as you guys know the dollar has just been uh, progressively stronger still on the daily chart you can see these five candles were the past week we had this shooting star this is where we got in short at core effects we caught this move down got in on this uh, two-day pullback hit this reversal candle off this level and we figured we were ready to go do down and that's exactly what it did and it did continue to trickle lower no real strong momentum We've had a little bit of uh, small bodied, kind of indecisive candles, but has been moving lower. We are though now hitting this strong support level. As you can see with this zone I've drawn on the uh, charts, this is a very nice demand level. If you see this strong move up, price made, came down, consolidated, strong move up. And it's also right off of this strong zone in the past that price has respected. So um, what I'm looking for in the euro is the same kind of deal I was looking for last week. And that's going to be, I want to see a bounce. I want to see price rally maybe up to this range up here. Um, 1850 to 1900 range. And then we'll look for shorts again to ride it down to at least back to 1750. But hopefully set another lower leg um, down to the downside. But as you can see, bearish price action across the board. Broken structures set all new lower low, lower low, lower high, lower low. Below the 200 SMA, 20 is below the 50, 20 is now below the 200 as well. The 50 and the 20 are both sloping downward. So as you guys can see, we have now continued this bearish momentum after this little bull rally. And really all eyes should be to the downside with you. Maybe if you're a short little uh, counter trend trader and you, and you like trading these little bounces against the, the over to overall trend, you could be looking for longs here. But as you guys know, at core effects, it's not what we look for. So we're going to be looking for a uh, bullish bounce here, look for a little bit of a rally, and then look for shorting opportunities to join this downtrend at better prices than it's at currently at. This would be chasing price. We want price to come to us, get in short, catch that next wave lower. Going over the pound dollar. Um, not really the best price action, but Friday did close with some bearish momentum. Strong Marobozu candle here. As you can see, no wick to the downside, just a straight bear candle. Sellers had control all the way to the close of the day, engulfed the prior candle. We are now below this 200 SMA that we've kind of been ranging on. Um, 20 cross below the 50, they're both sloping downward. We've broken all major upward trend lines. The blue weekly, this black daily, we've broken both 
broken the 200. So this is another pair that we are only looking for shorts in. Um, I would like to see a little bit of a bounce at some point. Maybe we get a push lower, and then it retraces back to this level, and then we go short. Um, but again, another pair that we are definitely looking to the downside in pound yen. All of this is going to be based off the dollar with these dollar crosses. So understand that our bias is going to be for the long dollar to continue, but that can change quickly. It's just price action right now is telling us that's where we want to be. Dollar CAD, a, a, still an ugly chart. As you guys know, we, we, we like to trade charts that look like this, right? We want to trade charts that are in strong trends. We want to trade charts that give us a clear direction where price is going. This chart hasn't showed us that for a little while. As you can see, we've had a lot of choppiness. This looked like we were going to get into an uptrend. Hit resistance, topped out, sold off. Hit this tr weekly trend line, hit support, rallied again. It's just been an indecisive price action. We are right under a very strong level, this dollar twenty nine, and price is struggling to break it. We broke out of it last week, not this past week that we're analyzing now, but the prior week we broke out of it. But then price immediately sold off, so we had a false break, but then found support and has now bounced back up. And this one twenty nine level is to the level being tested again. So. I'm not looking for any trades in the dollar CAD, but anyone that is, I would look for a break of 129 to the upside. Dollar yen, we did break above the 200 SMA here, broke above strong resistance, still in this uptrend. Um, we called this uptrend starting with this reversal down here. We got this push for the higher high, pullback for the higher low. Now we've got a push for a higher high. We did have a um, doji candle close on Friday with an upward wick. So we are going to be looking, this is a gravestone doji, we are going to be looking for um, a little bit of a pullback. Maybe we come back to retest this 200 SMA. Maybe we get a little bit of something like this. Price pulls back to the 200 SMA, maybe this trend line, broken structure and support resistance, and maybe we continue upwards and make another push higher. Um, just something we can be watching. This uh, is on a strong level, as you can see, if I mark this zone. This uh, 111 level psychological whole number acted as support and resistance in the past. Also have a little supply zone we got created here with this strong downward push here, right? We got a drop, we got a rally, we got a drop. This is a nice supply zone we created. So price did hit that and initially sell off a little bit on Friday. Um, but another pair we're going to be watching for a pullback to then get long to continue the dollar strength if we see that. Um, taking us to dollar Swiss franc. We did call out last week this rounding top formation we were seeing, reversal pattern. Um, it was last week right here that we saw. But as you can see, it's kind of a, just a big rounding top now that we're seeing. Price is starting to break out to the downside. If you see here, this strong support level that's been holding. It was resistance, then it was broken, now it's been support right on the... Um, right about on the dollar parity level that I told you guys, a big psychological number. We are basing on there. We had a strong bearish candle Friday afternoon. Um, and then we had some dull price action as it was a Friday later in the afternoon. And as you guys know, traders step away from their desks on Friday afternoon. So not much going on, but we did have a nice bearish engulfing Friday, um, in this very strong resistance, weekly and daily resistance level. Taking it to the weekly candle close, you can see we had a doji rejection last week, right? We had a gravestone doji reversal pattern. This week we have a shooting star, upper rejection wick, small bearish lower body, another sign of bearishness. So um, this is one that I am short the dollar. I think we'll have more of a sell off on this pair, which would mean strong Swiss franc, short US dollar. So if we do see some weakness in the U.S. dollar, this could be a chart with opportunity to the downside. But um, it is in a very strong uptrend, so I do still recommend against that. However, there could be opportunities for an early trend reversal if we see some strong selling off here. But all in all, this pair looks like it's more short than anything to me right now, just based off basic price action principles. Um, Aussie dollar, a little bit of a sloppy price action pair. We've been in this nice downtrend, made this strong lower leg move. And we've kind of been basing here. This is a weekly support level. And what I am seeing on a lower time frame is a bit of a inverse head and shoulders pattern. As you guys can see here, 
we've got the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. Um, if we drew a neckline, it would be around here. So we're not at the neckline. It's a little bit sloppy. This right shoulder is kind of turning into a double shoulder, um, kind of making the pattern a little sloppy. Uh, but this is another pair. You know, we're in a strong downtrend. This could reverse, or we could get a move to continue to trend to the downside. Not any setups I am looking for immediately with this pair. I'd kind of like some better price action, maybe a clear break lower, and then short the retest, because um, this just isn't showing the best price action. It's pushing lower, then bouncing back, pushing higher, then pushing lower. So a little bit of a range-bound price action. Going to wait for a better opportunity to open it, present itself. Then we got New Zealand dollar, US dollar, a little bit of a cleaner chart. As you can see, we made this strong lower leg all the way down here. Um, the moving averages are all sloping downward. We've got price below the 200, below the 50 and the 20. 20 is below the 50 and the 200. Looks like the 50 and the 200 are going to cross soon. This is a pair that I do see some bullish bouncing coming after the strong last move lower, but I would be looking to short it up around this area. I think we can get some great opportunities to catch this to the downside for a nice lower leg move down to around 68.50 again. Maybe we come down to the 68 range. Catching it up here, that is a few hundred pips. That's a nice move. Um, so we'll be looking for this bullishness to continue a little bit to start the week. Then maybe Wednesday, Thursday, we get a nice reversal opportunity here off this zone and we try to catch it to the downside. All right, so that covers the US dollar crosses, guys. Um, now what I do is hop into my watch list to start the week. I'm not covering all 28 pairs here. What I do is I filter through them, find the nice trending pairs, and then find the trending pairs that are either making pullbacks or ready to make a pullback to look for and keep on my watch list for this week ahead. So the first pair I'll be watching here is the CAD Japanese Yen. As you guys can see, we had a trend reversal with this strong bullish leg higher, setting higher highs, breaking structure, breaking the moving averages pulled back to set a higher low, rallied up to retest the higher high, rallied down to retest the uh, higher low. This is a high basing pattern. And then this week we did actually break out. Um, this is a nice pattern for uh, getting in on a pullback. This is prior structure, was resistance. Now we can intend on it acting as support. We had price break out. Price bounced. We did have a bearish engulfing, showing us some bearish momentum. But what we will be looking for now is price to retrace to somewhere in this area to catch a long, dropping it down to the four hour chart. We can see a little better what we're talking about. So we had this strong bearish uh, bullish push. And then we had a base and then another strong push. And we had some profit taking and retracement out of price there. However, if we take a Fibonacci, from this strong push all the way up to this strong push, you can see we could be looking for some short opportunity, I mean, some long opportunities if price continues down to the 382 to 50 range here. If it breaks below this 50 SMA, I won't be looking for it anymore, um, at least, you know, temporarily. If we look on the daily, if it breaks below that, it'll be coming back down to here. So taking this drawing tool back out, if price comes down and breaks right through this gray zone, to me, this would be a false breakout if that occurred. It would invalidate that as being a higher high, pull back to set a higher low, continue higher high. So I'll be looking for shorts in this area to get long, to come up to here. Maybe we, we aim for the 200 SMA in this prior higher high first. However, um, with any trading watch list and setups I make, there is an invalidation point where the setup I'm looking for is no longer valid and my trade is no longer something I'm watching. I have a very sp particular set of rules that need to uh, occur before I execute a trade. And when I develop these watch lists, the rules aren't all there. It's just the setups, that, the kind of setups I trade and the potential for the rules to come to place. So I look for that setup. I watch to see if it's gonna happen. And if it happens, I execute when all my factors line up. Swiss franc Japanese yen was a pair that I was watching for shorts last week. We had a nice lower low multiple day rally to retest this lower low i mean this uh structure from the prior lower low we had a descending triangle broken price rallied back we did have a doji and decision candle and this is where i was watching for a break of this trend line to continue to the downside but 
price broke right through that trend line and reversed back up into this area. That was how that trade was invalidated. Never got the execution on the trade. All we did was see a potential for a trade set up, watching for that very um, specific setup that I follow and that I teach here at CoreFX. Didn't happen, broke higher, invalidated the setup, never executed a trade. Next pair I'll be watching is the Pound CAD. Pound CAD, uh, as you guys know, was in a nice strong uptrend, as with all pa pound pairs, but then we did reverse a few weeks ago and have been seeing some bearish selling pressure since. Right now, we are in a low basing pattern. We set lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Now we are in a low basing pattern above the 200 SMA, above the 72 psychological support zone. Taking it to the four hour chart, you can see this zone a little better now what we could see is this trend line being broken maybe we've got a double bottom forming here and price rallies but i will be watching for a continuation to this bearish move lower as we've got the 20 cross the 50 both sloping lower we are still above the 200 but it is in near sight we could see this reverse and break the 200 sma continue this downtrend so we will be looking for short opportunities with the pound cad to go into this week Next, I'll be watching the Euro New Zealand. This pair has been a little bit choppy, but the past few weeks we had this strong bearish break higher. And as I was calling around this week, around the, sorry, that week when, when this bullish move happened, I was watching this 50 SMA price pulled back, hit this 50 SMA on the 50, I mean uh, 50 Fibonacci on the 50 SMA, and we got this bounce to come back up to the higher high. We got another sell-off. We're coming back down to that 50 SMA. We had some strong bearish momentum. So this is something that I'm not just going to look to go long. I need to see confirmation that we've found support, that this isn't a reversal, simply a sell-off within a bullish trend. Look for support to be found. Look for price to be showing me. It's going to look like it's continuing higher and then get long. But this is another one I will be looking to, to get long on this pair. We are still in a very strong area. If you see all through here, the very wide range, but all through here, you can see multiple rejection wicks and price action respecting levels. So this is a strong zone that we're gonna be watching. I'm just gonna need now some bullishness to return to the markets, kill this momentum and show us that price is now ready to continue back to the upside. Euro CAD, the opposite direction. We're looking short on this pair. I like strong CAD. CAD's been one of the top performers for the last couple weeks back to back. Um, Euro has been one of the underperformers, so I do like this matchup fundamentally. Uh, currency strength analysis, it matches up, and technically we have a lot of stuff going on. So we've had this trend reversal with this lower low, lower high, lower low, some mini lower low, lower high structures in between. But we hit the 200 SMA and this strong blue weekly uptrend line bounced and broke through it and sold off this week. We have bounced back now, retested the 200 SMA and this weekly trend line i am now looking for short opportunities as this pair is in a downtrend we broke key significant uh, price action levels and if you look left we also have some support and resistance around this zone too you can see price has respected it not the cleanest zone but price has definitely respected it multiple times and that 200 sma and trend line is really the levels i'm watching but <clears throat> we we do have little bit of bullish pressure coming in reversing this we could get a little bit more of a bounce into this trend line before it sells off but i do think that this pair is going to present some potential shorting opportunities this week euro aussie another pair i'm watching for this week as you can see um a lot going on in this chart right now i just wanted to show you guys for one from this bull move we had up price um has pulled back now to this 50 sma i mean this 50 fibonacci level here as you can see, looking left, it is a very significant support resistance zone as well. Price has respected it a lot of times in the past. So in the short term, Sunday, Monday, maybe even Tuesday, I do see a bounce. I do see price rallying off this support zone. But we did get this moving average crossover right here. We broke structure. This level right here was a critical level we are watching for this pair. We did break it. A little bit of a retest, sold off. So now we're going to look for a little bit of a bounce again to look for shorting opportunities to continue to ride this pair to the downside. Could be some good shorting opportunities this week in this pair as well. 
Short short euros across the board, I am kind of liking. Um, Euro Swiss franc, we did come in. We broke both moving averages. We broke market structure up here was a higher low. Broke that, set a new lower low. Look for a pullback, maybe up to this 50 SMA, also around this 1850 strong level here. And then potential short opportunities. We're going to have to watch for this support and trend line area here. This is going to be a tough zone for price to break through. So that is something we're definitely going to have to watch for. But um, I, I am more so looking short than long. I like catching early trend reversals. They usually have the most strength and the most momentum. So I will be watching for this to rally a little bit and then get short. Try to catch the next leg lower out of the Euro Swiss franc. As I do see some potential short opportunities here. Aussie New Zealand dollar. Another pair I'm watching. We did break this uh, trend line. We broke this downtrend. We are in here with this higher high. We based for a little bit and then had another strong explosive leg higher. Temporarily broke through the 200 SMA, then sold off. Um, very bearish momentum candle here. So this is something I'm not looking to jump right into right away. However, this is something that down in these areas, we can be watching for price to find support show us it's reversing and then we get in a pullback at a nice discounted price to try to catch that next leg higher as you can see we are pretty extended from the moving averages the 20 and the 50 are pretty far off price so we do expect that mean reversion that we talk about all the time come back perfect little area to come retest this trend line maybe we come down to here around the 180 level and then we bounce and catch this pair to the upside so another pair we'll be watching for the second half of this week for long opportunities but could present some nice opportunities for us Next, we have New Zealand Canadian dollar. Another pair where I like the strong CAD. We've been in a nice strong downtrend, setting lower lows, lower highs. This is a lower low. Had a very strong bearish bounce. Uh, did see some weakness in the CAD to end the week. We had a very strong uh, bullish bounce. I'm sorry. Big, big, big bullish momentum uh, engulfing candle. It actually retraced all the losses that the pair had all week long in one candle so we had monday tuesday wednesday thursday all bearish candles all to the downside friday one bull candle reversed all those gains if we take it to the weekly chart that will probably show us a lower wick as you can see it has given us a dragonfly doji and you guys can see here we have a um, potential bounce off this pair starting the week i'm not looking to go short i'm looking to see what this momentum does we do have room in this downtrend for a uh lower high to really come all the way up to about here before we can you know try to catch the next move lower some of these pullbacks and rallies within these trends are bigger than others as you can see here was a small one not much of one here here you had a little bit of a pullback. Here you had a little bit of a pullback. Sometimes you have bigger ones with this pullback. And that's what this could be, a bigger pullback. Catch the trade up in this area. Beautiful risk to reward. Potential target down here. Potential stop up here. All this area for profit of pips. So um, this is another pair I will be watching. This could find resistance sooner than then. This could find resistance up at then. This could totally reverse and now just rip higher and reverse the trend. But we need to have a game plan. We need to have a watch list. We need to know what we're looking for going in every week. And that's what we'll be doing here. New Zealand Swiss Franks, the last pair out of my watch list. Wasn't an uptrend. Broke it with this lower low, lower high. Now this lower low was formed. I would like a little bit more of a rally, maybe up to around the 6940 area here. As you can see, if we look on this chart, this is also a strong level. Looking left, you can see. This would be a nice area to bounce up to, getting a nice risk to reward short to ride it back down to at least the price level we are at now. So another pair that I need to set up throughout the week. I'm not looking to jump into anything right off the bat. We do have some New Zealand news on Sunday. So that is one of the Sundays you could trade. There will be eyes on the markets and people are trading and more momentum than usual. But I don't see any setups to jump right into immediately. So I will let the week set up for me, see what it's doing, see what setups come up and present themselves, and have my plan ready to act. Um, another chart I like going over in here with you guys, the S&P 500. This is the U.S. stock market, um, basically an index of the top 500 companies in the U.S. 
all basketed together into weighted average and uh, shows an overall picture of what the U.S. stock markets are doing, which is very highly correlated to the Forex markets, as you guys know from some of my other videos. But we had a break of this bear, uh, bull pennant, um, not this past week, the week before. Nice bullish move. And now we have consolidated. This is a nice sign. People are preparing their positions. Um, equilibrium between buyers and sellers. This is a sign that there is going to be another move and if we take this move before the base, take it to where the base breaks out, we have a potential move up to the 2840 level again. All right, so we do have some nice bullish price action out of the U.S. equity markets. I do think we're due for another bull run this week. That could easily reverse and not happen. But um, the 20 SMA did cross back above the 50 SMA for the first time in a long time since back in September when we had this massive bull run. Crossed below it here. Had a little bit of bearish choppiness and now has crossed back above it, like I said, for the first time. So another technical sign that we like to see. And this is something showing us that we want to be bullish on U.S. equities, which reflects to a lot of things in, in Forex markets. Um, for one, the growth currencies, New Zealand, Aussie, CAD, typically perform better when there's risk on in the markets, when stock markets are performing well. Japanese yen, Swiss franc, dollar, euro, all typically can perform worse when this happens as they are safe haven currencies. The Japanese yen more so than anything else is a safe haven currency and we look for weakness when the stock markets are doing good. Uh, Dixie, which is the dollar chart. This is the, that's gold. This is the US dollar chart. As you guys know, we broke this uptrend, had this strong push higher, got a little bit of a pullback and the push continued. So the dollar is just ripping higher at all levels. Broke above the 50, broke, I mean, broke above the 200 SMA. 200 uh, just had the 20 cross it. There were, the 20 and 50 are sloping upwards. Beautiful price action showing an uptrend. A little bit overextended, a little bit due for maybe a, a deeper pullback. Um, but all in all, we've got to be watching for a strong dollar at this point. All signs are telling us bullishness. So that is what we'll be watching for. That's what we'll be looking to take advantage of as far as the dollar goes. And until price, act, price action changes, that's what we'll be watching. Gold, um, that range that it's been in, it did finally break out of. It broke out to the downside. This agrees with my S&P 500 chart because gold is inversely related with the stock market, which means stocks go up. Gold typically goes down. Um, so we, we have seen this range form over the last few months, broke out of it, has hit this strong weekly daily upward trend line. Maybe we see a bounce to retest this range and gold sells off from there. All right, guys. So that pretty much covers all the pairs I'm watching this week on top of the U S dollar crosses. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I appreciate it. Please leave any comments below whether you like don't like anything want me to cover anything check out all the other videos here on the youtube page i appreciate taking the time to watch these subscribe to keep updated with the new stuff that comes out uh, i really appreciate it guys and i'll catch you next week